Hi there, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. I'm Rohacker and today I want to teach you all about the repeat loop and how you can use them in Roblox. So in the last tutorial, I taught you about how to use while loops. I explained how while loops are control structures that allow you to repeat certain sections of code over and over again, as long as a condition is true. However, repeat loops are similar, yet very different. Repeat loops allow are control structures that allow you to repeat certain sections of code over and over again until the condition is met. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to open the script. I'm going to get rid of this print statement, and I'm going to do local numbers equal to 1, and then repeat number is equal to number times 2, and I'm going to do until number is greater than or equal to eight. So this is the general structure of the re repeat loop. And what this code is doing is repeating this block of code number equals number times two until number is greater than or equal to eight, which is the condition. Just like the while loop, the repeat loop is super easy to remember as it kind of reads like a statement. You can read the code as repeat code which you can like just put code here until condition is met. So it remember, it keeps repeating this code when the condition is not met, which is when number is less than eight in this case. Now I'm going to add the print statement inside the repeat loop so you can see what's going on. So print number. And then I'm going to run the code. As you can see, it prints one, two, four, but it doesn't print eight. That's because when we run through this code, it first prints one, which is number, and then it times it by two. So number will now be two and number is not greater than or equal to eight. So it would print two numbers times two is doubled. And then number four is not greater than or equal to eight. So it goes through again, it'll print four and then it will times two. And then since number is greater than or equal to eight, it will not repeat this again. It will not. So yeah, the condition will be satisfied and this won't have to run again. Now, in my previous tutorial, I taught you all about the break statement, where if your break statement runs, it exits out of the loop. This works with repeat loops. So let's say I added another counter variable here, local counter and is equal to zero. And inside the loop, I increment it by one. So I can do counter is equal to counter plus one. I'm actually going to make this bigger so then it doesn't exit out naturally. So let's say I did like greater than or equal to a thousand. Oh, I need to do a lot more than that just in case. I'm just going to do millions just in case. <laughs> then we can do like if counter is equal to 10, then break. So what this would do is repeat the loop after it goes through or iterates 10 times. So let's actually make this smaller just plus one. I don't trust the fact that it won't reach 10 million <laughs> before counter hits 10. This is just in case. So now I can exit, stop the code and then rerun this. And let's see what happens. I forgot that a break statement, but it shouldn't be too bad considering the fact that the loop will stop very shortly after running. Okay, so I ran the code and as you can see, it prints numbers from one to 10. It see it has like 10 different print statements and that's because as it's it only goes through this code 10 times although number never got greater than or equal to 1 million no 10 million uh it still got out of the loop because of when counter hit 10 after like going through this 10 times when counter hit 10 it broke out of the loop therefore all this code wouldn't run again and then it just would just go on to future code if there was there more code if there was there I have a challenge for y'all. Make a variable, call it time left, set it equal to 100, and use the repeat loop to make the code count from 100 back down to zero. Do you think you can do that? Feel free to pause the video as I give you a few seconds to solve the problem. I hope you finished because I'm going to show you the answer now. The solution to the problem is actually pretty simple. You just have set time left equals 100. I print out 100 here just because when I'm going through the repeat loop, I set time left, like I decrement it by one before I print it out. So if we were to go through this loop, it'd print out 99. 
So I just print out 100 here, and then it goes through the loop where it just keep going down by one every time it goes through this repeat loop. So it'd be 99, it'll print 99, it'd wait a tiny bit, then it'll become 98, print 98, wait a tiny bit, all the way down till it's equal to zero, and it'll print out zero, wait a tiny it will not print out zero <laughs> actually yeah it will print out zero because it'd be one when it goes through it at the end and then it'll print out it subtract and print out zero and now the condition then the condition will be met and nothing will be printed out anymore i'm just going to show you what it, what's going on <laughs> uh oh oh i forgot to undisable it <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay i press play and as you can see, it's counting down to zero. From 100 all the way down to zero. Pretty simple. Also, I'd like to remind you, with these conditions, you can have more than one things. So you can use the and or keyword to make it so you get a more complex Boolean expression So for this condition. So we could have done repeat this code until time left is equal to zero or time left is less than let's say 80. So if either of these conditions are true, it would stop repeating this loop. So let's say I press play, it goes down to 80 and then it subtracts one, prints 79 over here. And then it stopped because it's less than 80. Like it doesn't have to be less than zero. It could be because there's an or statement. It has to be less than it has to satisfy either one of these. Yeah, anyways, so I have another challenge for y'all. Given this code. What will print to output? Feel free to pause the video while I'll give you a few seconds to come up with a solution. Have you done it yet? Well, the solution is. It just prints, it starts from three and counts up to 51 and then prints exit because count is equal to 51. So it's just three, five, seven, nine, 11, so on, all the way to 51. And then it says exit because count equals 51. And this is because you set first set count to one and then you repeat count incrementing by two every time it goes through the loop and it would print count. So one would become three over here and then it print three. And then if you have these if and else if statements, but since count when it first goes through is equal to three, which is not equal to 10, nor is it greater than 100, nor is it equal to 51, it would just keep going through this loop. Count would become five. Is five equal to 10 or greater than 100 or equal to 51? Nope. So it'd keep going. And since this is adding by two each time and we're starting at one, count will never equal to 10. So this will never happen. And uh, what and count will actually eventually become 51 and it would become 51 before count could ever become greater than 100. So therefore, it print this by increments of two, three, five, seven, all the way to 51 and then print to exit because count equal to 51. And that's the answer. It just simply break out of the loop before it could ever satisfy this condition. There you have it, repeat loops. There are still other types of loops, such as the for loops, but they are slightly more complicated, so I'll cover them in a future videos. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. My next tutorial will be on arrays, or a data structure that is used to store and manipulate multiple values at once. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you click the link on the screen now, or the link down below. Thank you. Yeah.